it's really mind-boggling to me how sometimes people can you know be so impatient and not really sit down for a moment you know take a step back enjoy life and not following charts 24 7. so that is the main reason why usually rallies are short-lived people want news attention and bullishness every single hour of, of every single day but that cannot happen so what i'm going to discuss today is the state of optimus everything that they discuss that they're going to roll out how are these new elements are going to flip us deflationary and if that's even possible at all so let's get into this Now, to reference back my previous video, I did say that if you did watch this video, actually, that changes were coming. So, some of these changes were actually discussed, but some were just speculations, and some of these speculations that I made actually came true. So, one thing to know is that up 3 would be replaced by up X, the one to rule them all, as they say. So, first thing that will actually come true is an Optimus on DAX that will be introduced. Now, leveraging our trading volume, we would earn an additional small fee percentage now just to give you a reference for example uniswap takes about 0.3 percent pancake swap 0.2 percent so it's going to be somewhere in between or a bit higher so let's see how much will that be and all these fees are going to be put aside and then buying back optx and burning the tokens as a result so that is your first deflationary mechanism leveraging your trading volume and perhaps other tokens trading volume so let's see Second thing, there's going to be a sell fee introduced. As you'd know, OPT3 and OPT4 have no buy and sell taxes. Now there's going to be one with OPTX. I'm speculating 3 to 5% on sales. Buyers have 0% taxes. Let's see how much will that be. And those fees are also going to feed the buyback and burn mechanism. Now you won't be able, I mean going forward when OPTX launches, you won't be able to earn your rebase of 1% by holding the token to your wallet. You're going to have to stake it for a certain time lock, so X number of days, weeks, month, etc., to earn that 1%. You can actually remove your tokens prior to your exit time lock, but you're gonna be subject to an exit fee, and this exit fee as well will go mostly or entirely into buying back the token and burn it. So that's three so far. I would also add honorable mentions, and the fourth I would say would be, of course, the profits generated from boss trading on both Mexi and Bybit, as well as leveraging the opt USDT pair and other pairs as well. So, uh, honorable mentions the Optimus DEX is also going to trade other tokens. So, with more tokens being traded, means more volume, more fees, more tokens being bought and burned. Like I mentioned, no rebase for non stakers. So, you can keep your liquid opt X into your wallet, but you're not going to be be able to take advantage of any additional tokens but you can trade whenever you want bridge will be outsourced meaning unfortunately originally the team wanted to develop this to also leverage bridge fees but that they they stated that there uh, it's a bit too complicated they will allocate their time somewhere else so they won't be doing that anymore but it's still happening between opt x and opt 4 uh polygon versus bsc and as a result, up4 will also remain to be traded between these two chains and leveraged if it has a higher price versus Optex. My name is Roy, and I hope to install some value in everything that I'm about to say. So, I'm going to start by discussing a bit of uh, in regards to the price action of both tokens ever since the announcement was made. So, it was, like I said, hinted on a voice chat, but then everything was confirmed uh, through a YouTube video by none other than DeFi Dude, and then the rally happened so essentially like i said opt x will replace opt 3 which is why normally we had a rally from the low of 22 cents all the way to 38 then we retraced back a bit a small uptrend sideways trading and then we corrected more now in my personal opinion the originality of the price action in regards to rally at 22 cents was quite normal then the correction was normal trading sideways is normal that is completely normal but here is when the sideways trade broke down and that for me represents how of a short-sighted situation most of the investors have in this space i think you have two things to account for when you see this type of behavior happen like even though announcements are good even though that potentially things will turn around 
people don't tend to sit down actually understand what's about to happen calculate a bit of the metrics and contemplate whether there is something bullish or not i think based on experience with other protocols perhaps promising stuff and not delivering the immediate action is okay i'm not gonna sit around and wait for others to uh, to sell their bags to sell their positions i'm gonna do it first and that is unfortunately what is happening so there's no reason it's just normal which isn't normal in my personal opinion investor behavior but if you do take the time to sit around and contemplate how these changes are going to affect the price action of the token you might have a different opinion and which is something that i did i'm going to show you right now now that is my explanation in regard to the price action of this token we're still technically in a small uptrend if you compare it to the lowest low however I cannot confirm that this is the bottom no one knows i think up until things launch properly we're gonna see a very strange price action it might even drop below 22 cents i hope not but we're gonna see and as for opt for in my opinion this is still a token that's gonna be used to arbitrage and make some profits with opt x in the future i don't think opt for has a a bright future ahead of it in my personal opinion i think it was used you know to leverage the popularity of bsc unfortunately since this token is not installed yet on the chain its volume is quite low and it's not as exposed as up three is so i think i would give this time before more more volume kicks in and i'm sure with hopefully up access future success it will rub off on up four speaking of success like i said sometimes you need to actually sit around and understand how these uh, future implementations are gonna affect us in regards to price action and future appreciation so i did something i'm gonna just you know put it out there and show you in simple terms and in simple numbers what we can expect and if action and if you know if in reality and the actuality of whatever we are waiting for will actually offset the inflation so the the one the one percent rebase and will actually put us in a deflationary spot like the team claimed okay so now we're gonna see if with all the implementations that are coming for optimus we will be able to offset the inflation because unfortunately with just the revenues from bot trades as you you know been seeing for the past couple of weeks inflation is still ongoing and we could not offset it they did some manual burns but that was not enough so i just you know took into consideration the current supply how much is potentially going to be rebased based on the new models that are going to be implemented and the deflationary uh, elements that also are going to be implemented that will uh, go into effect and potentially offset this inflation i'm not talking about if people decide to somehow exit their position sell their whole uh, bag and leave i'm just talking about 1% per day, offset of that 1% per day in regards to token supply. So yeah, let's let's uh, quickly dive into this. So I took into consideration the current supply of OP3 because OP3 will be essentially replaced by OPTX and that's what we care about. So at its principal level, that uh, supply is going to be rebased at 1%. However, it's not the case and you're going to see why. Now the average price of OPTX futurely for me i took 30 cents it was trading sideways above that but i showed you why the drop happened so i'm gonna keep 30 cents into the equation because i believe this will be the price when all of these things roll out in early january so why isn't all of the supply being rebased why one you have to understand that there's a lot of the supply and most of the supply is owned by the contract about 19.3 million you can dissect this amount if you go on polygon scan and you can clearly see this amount display right here and there's about 8.9 million retained by the team and put aside in other wallets that isn't touched now even if some of these wallets are rebased we don't really uh we don't really care we only care about investor uh positions that are actually being rebased so using the old model start the starting point is what is left from the difference of 
the current supply and everything that is owned by the contract and by the team so that is left rebase per day potential sell pressure based on the 30 dollar sorry 30 cent average price and my model actually extrapolates over 15 days and using the old op3 model you have a potential of 1.3 million uh, sell pressure incoming sell pressure just from rebases not from people exiting now right off the bat you've been noticing the volume that op3 was getting on average it's about 1 million as of late so clearly the buys can offset this rebase but it's still a bit too much now with the new model people will be able to earn that one percent if and only if they stake their tokens correct if you followed up on the uh on the beginning of the video so i speculate that about 50 percent of holders will do that will stake their tokens or they will put a portion and leave a portion liquid to sell if price appreciates you know how people uh, usually tend to have some freedom in regards to their holdings so with that in mind that potential daily rebase sell pressure over 15 days okay will be slashed in half because only 50 percent of the remaining supply will be earning one percent versus the rest so that's about 717.8 thousand dollars in potential sell pressure just from rebases now our goal is to offset this amount right so we need something that will buy up 717 and burn those tokens we need something to offset this so let's look into whatever we have coming up in regards to everything that is gonna roll out and see if that 717.8 dollar or thousand dollars could be actually offset so first things first, I took into consideration average daily volume of 1 million, like I mentioned. Now, I project a more geared up buy ratio versus a sell ratio, at least at the beginning of Optex. So my personal speculation is 55 to 45% regards to buy sells, because when a new project launches, the demand is higher and then the demand slowly subsidizes, right? So speculatingly speaking 55 versus 45 that's 550,000 versus 450,000 if the average daily volume of 1 million holds its ground so with that in mind this is what we know we know that there's going to be a sell tax so three to five uh, three to five percent is something that i you know speculated let's take four percent the middle ground in between so four percent over 15 days of the total number of sales that's 270,000 bought back and burned there's going to be our own decks where we trade optimus token the optimus token that is to begin with 0.3 percent is also something that i expect will be the trade fee 0.3 percent of the daily volume over 15 days that's 45,000. so right off the bat we can most likely speculate 315,000 that are going to be bought back and burned to offset part of the 717,000. So we're left with 402.8 thousand that we need to buy back and burn from other sources to completely offset the rebase sell pressure and take it out of the equation and potentially because usually we, you know, you are geared up to earn more on the better days because you will have worse days to compensate that and put them into reserve. So, do I think it's going to be difficult to get 402.8k from the three sources that remain that I cannot put an absolute number on? Yes, I think it's very highly possible because you will potentially have more tokens to be traded on our decks. So, more trading fees. You're going to have people who, who are going to exit their staking position before their time lock. So you have early exiters fee. You also have, which was the core of the project, profits coming from bots, trading pairs on Bybit, Maxi, and leveraging the UpToUSDT trading pair on Polygon. So combine these three additional sources... I'm sure they will be able to come up with that amount in a matter of 15 days at, and sometimes it will probably be more but averagely speaking I'm sure we will get there or I am almost sure we will get there that's my faith that those are my beliefs now keep in mind that that's taking into account an average trade uh, daily trading volume of 1 million 
So the more that increases, the more these DAX trading fees will increase as well. Even if the ratio of buy sells will be skewed to the sell side on some days, remember we're gonna incur more sell tax. So more fees, more money being bought and burned, that's also beneficial. More people exiting will incur more burning. More profits from the bots, also more buyback and burns. But I think this is where it's going to play out. If our DEX actually becomes popular and more tokens are going to come in and trade their pairs, this is where the scaling will happen. PancakeSwap, with their whole trading volume, just from the trading fees, they can literally right now offset the high inflation that the cake token undergoes. So I think the best product that we can hope for in this case and the best case scenario, higher trading volume, more pairs on the decks and more profits from the bots. And that is all I wanted to discuss today. I hope you stuck around till the end. I tried to condensate it as much as possible, but there was a lot to discuss, as you probably saw. There's a lot of metrics involved. And I really wanted to actually see if this token can become deflationary. I hope I answered this question somehow. And if you like whatever I just talked about, whatever I just showcased, consider subscribing. It's free and it really helps us push out better content for everyone involved. If you like whatever I just showcased as well, consider liking. Not for the sake of liking if you actually did. If you want to talk about anything, you can, you know, slide into the comment section, text me on Telegram, or even join our community, DeFi Ascension. Bunch of cool guys. We talk about a lot of things crypto related, and you can speak your mind, positive, negative thoughts, as long as it's in the realm of fairness and mannerism. And with that, thank you for tuning in. See you in the next one. Have a good one.